season. So Smithies VFL action underway here at Arden Street. The ball goes high in the air. One straight away early. Velasineras tried to get through. The Bull Ants will get the first clearance of the game, or they'll try and get it out anyhow. Just zigzagging around at the moment. Great tackle there, almost to force another stoppage. Bursting through there was Al Hawley. He'll get it off now. Valenceras couldn't quite get the footy. North will regain possession here in the middle of Arden Street. And now they're away. Hansen with the left foot boot, trying to find a target inside 50, but couldn't. And that ball will be turned over. Not bad action early there, Dan. Yeah, good start for the Northern Bull Ants with their key players getting their hands on the ball in Valisaris and Patrick Fairley. The Bull Ants now just across their back line. They'll go short here to Mackey. I hear Mackey. He'll go short, but he just bobbles the kick in the end. Turnover footy here. Just on the edge of 50 for North, and they'll share it around here looking to go goal. George, his kick was smothered. Now he'll go out wider. Bergman. He'll get it. Bergman just setting that kick nicely into the corridor. Almost intercept mark there. Swooping in and picking that one up was Pickett. He got it away. Then this kick was smothered. Shot on goal here with the left, but it's going to stay right. And Robert Hansen couldn't quite finish behind to north. Yeah, played the two AFL games at the end of uh, 2023, did Robert Hansen, and he's already had two touches here. So his confidence to be up and would have loved to kick that. It would have been a great start to his 2024 season. Well, let's get us back underway here. They go down the wing and just turning it over again there. In the forward 50 here. North just a centering kick. Tried to lower the eyes there and set some play up. Another shot on goal with a snap to the top of the square. It bounces and it beats everybody. And North get the first of the afternoon. Jack Watkins... We'll get on the scoreboard first for North Melbourne in their VFL campaign. Yeah, the skipper gets on the board for North Melbourne. Jack Watkins, number 56. They'd be disappointed with that, the Northern Bull Ants. Had three or four players folding back and just weren't able to get a hand to the ball. Got to be careful with those turnovers in D50, the Northern Bull Ants. I watched the game last year, the round one game against Richmond, where they were really competitive, but they're... Issue in that game was just their inability to hit targets coming out of their defensive 50. So just got to keep that in check. Especially against a team like North Melbourne, which will be well drilled on their offensive structure. Footy has played so much with that offensive structure, setting up in defence straight away and not letting you get out. So just uh, with North Melbourne's bench, Will Dawson and Taylor Go, two of their draftees, started on the bench. Same with Finbar Maley. So uh, a few tall starting on the bench for the Kangas. Great entry inside 50 by Fairley. Lance trying to get this one out. He'll be pushing the back here. It'll be a free kick to Archer. Obviously, famous son of the famous shinbone of Glenn Archer. And he goes short to Shields. Now a hand pass into the middle. New one went back with a hand pass. Both under a little bit of pressure here. New on into the middle. Now yeah, they work it out. That was a bit of a throw there. Turnover. The Bull Ants just missed the kick on the entry. That's not great. North will have to work it out here. Comden went short. New on. And gave it back to George. George on the right boot. Going out into the wing. A little bit of room out here. This will be interesting as Greenwood will have to chase. He's in pursuit. The boundary line beats everybody. And it's out over the line. So if you don't mean to throw it, is it still a throw? That's an interesting <laughs> one with Liam Shields there. He went to give off the hand pass, but ended up just throwing it up in the air. Unfortunately, it's not a court here. Intention is irrelevant. <laughs> as that one's thrown in. Free in the ruck. Trying to do a good job there, but he's just impeded. Free kick will go. That's Max Johnson. I, I watched Max Johnson play in the practice games, and he's probably an undersized ruckman, but he's got big hips and he's very competitive. Number 33, the blonde-haired ruckman for the Northern Bull Ants. Johnson goes short with a kick. He's been told to come back twice now, and he's going to go to exactly where he intended it to go. Just checking with the umpire that he's allowed to, and he finally does and goes out wide. So Bull Ants looking to generate some play. Cross half back. They go down the line. Pack flies. New one couldn't quite get there. Dive on the footy here. And great tackle pressure here already early from North. Good hands there. 
Now just on the edge of 50. North look to be away here. They can stream through the middle. That target needed to hit. It would be turned over. Great work in defense there by Green. He goes into the middle with a kick to Brown. Brown short with a relieving handball. And gets something going inside 50 here. Just over the head of Jorgensen. Yuan picked it up. He hands out to Cobden. Cobden bends it around the corner. But sitting there was Mackey. And Mackey's going to have a shot. Points goal bound. Yeah, look, he'll be disappointed with that turnover, Charlie Combin, but just good to see him back on the park playing football after his horrific injury. He uh, suffered that against uh, Melbourne last year in the AFL game. Uh, but good opportunity here for Liam Mackey, who also suffered a pretty serious injury last year, Todd. I remember watching him against Port Melbourne last year suffer an ankle injury. And he's the sort of player that the Bull Ants can't afford to go down for the period of time he did last year. Sets it to the rock, to the left, and it stays left. It's going to miss them all. Goes across the face, but it's marked by Fairlight. I think that might actually be Will Elliott. Could be Will Elliott. No, you are correct there. My apologies. Will Elliott on debut. Played a box hill last season. In the pocket. Jim, we've got a few famous sons of out here today. Bends that around. You oh. want mark that on the line. We'll keep that in. Will Elliott, of course, the son of Australian cricketer Matthew Elliott. Combin now will go short. Archer trying to pick that one off. Got the hand pass off to Phillips. He'll go into the middle. It's going to be paid downfield. They'll continue with advantage here. Sitting under that was Sellers, but it was over his head. Sellers will fight for it here. It'll be a high free kick. Play on. So Bullant's ball here. They get it through. North will... Regain possession. Going inside 50. Lowson, he was tackled off the ball. Then setting that kick in. Bergman, great hit by Bergman to find Sellers. Tyler Sellers, brilliant story. SSP selection, was playing at Scotch and then he was on the VFL list last year. Had a great season at VFL level and then he's the SSP pick for North Melbourne this year. Already you can see North's intentions coming off half-back. Run and gun. Use the ball through the middle of the ground. They've been a little sloppy coming to the 50 at times, but that was a really nice kick by Miller Bergman. 30 goals from 16 games last year, Sellers. No stranger to a goal. And that one came off the boot as true as ever. Great kick there. And North have the first two. 2-1-13. Two, Bull Ants yet to score. Also good to see Riley Hardiman Get a couple of touches early, coming off half back. The gun recruit from Swan Districts picked up by the Roos with pick 23. Didn't quite hit his target on that kick a couple of minutes ago, Todd, but he's already playing to his strengths, which is his speed and line breaking off half back. You'll see that quite a bit today with Riley Hardiman. Yeah, really excited to see Hardiman go about it. He was captain of the Western Australian under-18s team at the National Carnival. Did really well at the National Carnival as well. Average eight and a half disposals. It'll be interesting to see what he can do at the next level. Snatching that out of the ruck there was Johnson. Ball came back. Tackle there. Getting that out of the pack was to May. But he was wrapped up. And we'll get another ball up in the centre here. Goad in the ruck for North. High free kick. Bullance will play on. Look to go inside 50 here. Setting under that nicely was Jorgensen. He got to the drop, drop zone well and read it really well. And he'll take that grab and have a shot on goal. Debut today for him. Yeah, debut today for the Northern Bullance. He was a very handy player for Essendon last year. I'm not sure if you watched him at all last year, Todd. But uh, a handy forward. Uh, he came to the Bullance late in this campaign. And, but uh, they certainly... Would love, love a player like him. A, a nice target, a nice mark against a good player in Charlie Compton. Set that one. Looks good. He likes it. He gives it a little double cobber as well. And John Jorgensen gets the first of the Bull Ants. So What's going on here? here? Wow. They've gone after Charlie Compton. Plenty going on behind play here. A lot of feeling in this one. It's great to see the standalone clubs really up against it here against... 
Norse listed. Plenty going on behind play. Don't want to give away a silly free kick here. Don't give anything undisciplined. Especially getting that two-goal lead. You can give a goal away and then hate to give a free kick away. But back to the middle. I'll... Well, I'm not sure if there's any history in that, Todd. But uh, as soon as he kicked the goal, they went after him. Maybe a little bit of lip. Verbal given. I reckon you're right there, Winks. I reckon there was something in it prior to, to that contest because there wasn't much in that contest. So Taylor Goad now in the ruck for North. Pick number 20 in the draft. Played for South Adelaide and Wollonga Footy Club as well. Big 206 centimetre player. Was contemplating college basketball or footy. He ended up choosing footy as well. And he's out here trying to apply his craft and Get into the AFL mix. Well, it won't be easy for him because he's up against big bad John Ramuliotis. <laughs> he might be a little undersized, John, but he loves the contest. We'll try and win that contest. Just couldn't in the end. Wiles will come away. And there's John. Big bad John, as you like to call him, Dan, with the well forward done. entry. But a great Here intercept he is. mark. And they're away. Hardiman got it on the boot on the left. Great kick. It goes into the forward line here. Just getting back there is Jacobs. He'll pick that up nicely. Goes a little hand pass over the top to King. King with a nice kick to Romiliadis or Big Bad John. He has it across half back here. It's, uh, it's been an interesting journey for Big Bad John Romiliadis. Four knee reconstructions. Great intercept mark there by Nguyen. Yeah, I like to see that by Nguyen. Uh, at times in the marking contest in the past, I've just felt he probably hasn't been strong enough. But that was a really emphatic marking contest. Well done. Kick inside 50 here for North. He'll go to the foot of the pack. I'll try and work it out. Getting in there and snatching it was Maley. They got the hands out now and they're away. Bergman went and across with a hand pass to Shields. He has a look. And it hits the behind post. Not a bad shot, that one. Just on this North Melbourne team, Todd. I think we counted 18 AFL list of players. They don't seem to have too many injuries at uh, AFL level. And then even their VFL players have played uh, league football. Connor Downey, Ben Davis. So they've got a very strong lineup today, North Melbourne. Very strong lineup. Great tackle there by Smith. And he gets rewarded with the free kick. Obviously, Casey Demon's product last year, also his community club of Doveton. He'll be looking to apply his craft here. His VFL listed. He gets a 50 metre penalty. He's going to be marched to the goal square. And he's been gifted one early. Smith will get to the top of the goal square. You think he'll slot this one easily, and he does. So North have three now. 3-2. Three, and the bull end's just the one. And the boys get around him, obviously, in his first game for North Melbourne is Deacon Smith. Not bad. Your first touch you get from a, a nice tackle, good defensive effort, and then you're 51 metres out, and you get a 50-metre penalty given to you. That's the sweetest sound in footy, that whistle, when the umpire gives you that 50-metre penalty on your first kick. So a good start to Deacon Smith, and yeah, he's one of the players that uh, has also been on, the, he was on the Melbourne list for three years and played 44 games for Casey. Good conversion at the moment from North Melbourne. They're dominating the inside 50s, 8-5, to five and three goals on the eight entries. That's a nice and healthy ratio. If they can keep that up, they'll be happy with that effort throughout today. They look to get a clearance here. Bull Ants dive on the footy here and they'll elect to go out wide. That kick just missing the target there. Brown will chase it. He'll just get the toe poke mid-air. And then that was Mark. The mark will be paid. No, it'll be play on. Great tackling pressure there from Smith, the goal kicker. They'll work it out here. Ball comes out for Lord. He's the 23rd man. He's there. Academy player, now into the middle. Fair lie, gets the kick away, but it's turned over. And to that man, Smith, and he'll get it out moving wide. Target almost hit there. Taylor's got a chase. Also getting involved there was Maley. Maley just coming in board. Not a bad hit into the corridor, but didn't pay off in the end. Good defensive footy here from the Bull Ants. So get wrapped up in a tackle. We'll get a stoppage in board. Maley, super impressive. Interesting story from Maley. He made the team of the season for Altham in Division 2. Got picked up by the Bull Ants. 
and just get a turnover here. And that mark there by George. He got picked up by the Bullens and now yeah. finds himself on a rookie list here at North Melbourne. Yeah. He's as, he's as athletic as they come, Finbar Mailey. He's a little bit undersized if you're talking about Ruckman, but he can jump. When they first got him down to the Northern Boyants, they said, what have we got here? This guy has a vertical leap like no other. So George here, just outside 50. He'll get onto it, though. That's a monster kick. That's got plenty of legs, too, but it's just going to fall short, and that will be rushed over the line. Talking about Mailey, you think his athleticism is amazing. You should see his sister... In the WNBL, Dennis Rodman-like on the rebounds. Okay. She has 18 and 20 rebounds in some games. An absolutely amazing place for the Perth Lynx. An absolute superstar. Also the Gangaroos, which is the three-on-three -three competition for Australia. She's one to watch if you're into your basketball. Annalie Maley, and she's a superstar too. Got a good well, podcast. On, Maley is a fairly famous name. Not the son of Paul Maley. He's uh, Finbar. He is, yes, correct. Okay. Adelaide 36er and Titan. There's a U.S. import as well, so of U.S. stocks, it's great to see. That one comes into the middle here. Brown got the hand pass away to Franks. He brings it out wide now. Hamilton now, he's going to go, look to go inside here. He'll get it back, the old one too. Franks in the middle. He looks to get some connection on the boot. Puts it into the corridor. New on, already coming across. He's intercept marking today. He's been brilliant. He'll go out wide, finds a target there in Hanson, sells a little bit of candy, still got it, takes a bounce. Hanson with the left boot, finds a target really out wide. This is great build up here. They loop one over the top. Watkins getting there just outside 50. Watkins trying to control it. Will he center it or have a shot here? He looks to center it. Unselfish play, good work. They'll sort it out here inside 50. That tackle from behind, he was ran down and he's going to be pinged holding the ball. Bull ants away here. Target coming in, looking for fair lie. He picks it up, gets the hands away. Now they're on the outer side here, the Bullants. They bring it in through to May. He hits a target. Now McCormick. He goes short. Great build up. They come back into the corridor. And a good hit. That was great play there. Kobe Brown now will have a shot at goal. Brilliant build up there by the Bullants. Really controlled. Yeah, that was certainly a better forward entry then. We saw... Previously, when Biggie Nguyen was able to come off his man and take the mark, Josh Hamilton just sort of bombed it in there. But on that occasion, Jean-Luc Valisaris was able to take the mark, lower his eyes, and actually hit the opponent of Biggie Nguyen, which on this occasion is the boy from Mildura and Kobe Brown. Kobe Brown making his way in. It's going to be a tough kick. Have to get a hold of all of it. Just arcs around, gives himself a little bit, but just bobbles the kick at the end. It's going to be turned over. So North here on the last line of defence through Cooper Lord. He'll go short into the pocket. Finding Hardiman. Hardiman gets the kick, but another 50 metre, metre penalty here for the Bull Ants. Encroaching the mark. They won't be happy with that. They're giving away handy territory. Yeah, they can't afford to give away too many 50s, the Northern Bull Ants. North Melbourne to hit this. Scoreboard six times, so only one. Hardiman put that in at the legs of Maley there. He couldn't quite pick it up, but they'll sort it out. Here's Phillips. He has a shot. It's just going to be touched over the line and a behind. Yeah, Alex Jacobs will be disappointed with that. Number 11 for the Bull Ants. Just let Will Phillips slip through too easily there. We're really going to stick that tackle. And they're certainly peppering the scoreboard now. North Melbourne. Just on 18 and three-quarter minutes played. Mackie to bring it in here. He'll like to go long to the outer side in a two-on-two. Two. Ball will come over to the back and will go out over the line for a boundary throwing. Just feel at times the North Melbourne ball use has been a little bit superior to that of the Northern Bull Ants and they've been able to waltz the ball into their 50 and probably could even be further in front. Great work in the ruck there by Johnson. They're going to come out. Bullance will get the clearance here. Picked up nicely there was Cobden. He went in short, got the kick. Now they'll go into the corridor. Here's Drury. Outside 50. Great setup. He could have been selfish and went for goal, but he did the right thing, and he found Finbar Maley. And we've talked up quite a bit with his athleticism, and he was able to get in some space there and have a shot on goal. Yeah, just a little too easy from that stoppage. North Melbourne were able to win the stoppage and then find a clear man and 
think that might be a talking point at quarter time for Rowan Walsh is the amount of uncontested marks and possessions North Melbourne have had. I, I don't think the Bull Ants have applied the pressure that Rowan Walsh would like them to have done. Maley left and it just came back. He steered that one home nicely. And North had their fourth. Had a bit of a James Manson look on it, didn't it? That kick, a little ungainly, but nonetheless effective. <laughs> Certainly effective. So you're right there. I think it's just efficiency of ball use at the moment and just those turnovers in costly areas have cost the Bull Ants. And they're not afraid to go down the middle of the corridor, but the problem with that is that when they do turn it over, North have been able to pounce. Get some really handy inside 50s. Well, well, look, one thing the Northern Bull Ants are uh, is fit. They are a fit team. Uh, they're a small team. But I know Rowan Welsh has had them running a lot over summer and watching their lead-up games. They certainly can run out games. So I don't think that's going to be a query. It's just their ability to be able to apply enough pressure to North Melbourne and then when the Bull Ants have the ball, make the most of their opportunities. They just quite haven't done that at the moment. Goad just evaded the ruck, took it out the contest. Here's Greenwood, loops one over the top there. Drury got the kick in. Spinning, turning, shot a goal marked in the square. Play on. Oh, it's touched. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes you wish you'd just go back, take your time. I don't know why the anxiety is with those marks in the goal square. Yeah. Go back, have your shot, but here's Mackie. Would have been two in 30 seconds for Finbar Maley. Now go to the pocket. This has been the costly kick here for the Bull Ants. They go out wide to the wing. They're looking for Crosby. Crosby will end up on top of the footy. Tackled there by Greenwood. Talking about the basketball connection. Greenwood at one stage there was training with the Utah Jazz. Obviously many moons ago he's played for the Crows and Gold Coast since then. Bull Ants looking to go inside 50. Melisaris with it now. Got the hand pass out to Donegan. Donegan with the hands now into Tomei. He was caught up in that one. There's going to be a whistle here. Free kick to the Bull Ants. They'll look to play on quickly, and they do. Donegan lowers the eyes, but not a great hit. Inside 50 entry is going to cost them. George. Went out wide and found his target. Now, North look to spread here. Here's Archer. Archer finding a target in the middle. Too easy at the moment. He had Shields. Shields has got plenty of room here. Can just take off. Gets it on the right boot. Puts it inside 50. Back of the pack there. Johnson mopped it up here for the Bull Ants. And they look to go out wide, but not a great kick as it finds its way over the fence. Out of bounds on the full. Well, talk about opportunities. The Northern Bull Ants have actually had eight inside 50s and they've, they've kicked one goal. So there's, you know, there's been three or four, maybe even more opportunities where they've entered inside their 50. They've had free players, but their, their disposal has just let them down. So Connor Downey will get things underway. 23 minutes played here in the first term. Downey sticks that one in. Greenwood was under it. He couldn't quite get it, and the ball will spill out over the line. He'll be a behind. Mackie goes short into the pocket. Go out wide again, and this time in search of Jorgensen, but it makes its way out over the line for another out of bounds on the full on that far side. The Bull Ants rely heavily on Patrick Fairley and Jean-Luc Valisaris. They've had already 17 disposals between them. They're the leading disposal the winners on the ground. Bergman stuck the kick inside 50. Bull Ants looking to get out of territory here. Great tackle applied there in Watkins. Just locking that in. For North Melbourne, Big New on and Liam Shields have had the seven disposals. Miller Bergman, and good to see Braden George playing his first VFL game. Greenwood, the five. The big snap out the ruck. He'll go into the pocket. And the free kick for in the back. Tyler Sellers giving away the free. It'll be 
William Wallace to bring it in. William Wallace on debut for the Bull Ants. He's first in the red jersey. Great spread here. Good zonal pressure from North. This kick has to go to a contest. and It works by design as they get it going forward here to Taylor. He's run down. The umpire didn't believe he had prior opportunity to get rid of it. He'll come in and we'll get a ball up inside 50. Greenwood taking the ruck in 50 here for North. Johnson battled away in that one. Greenwood gets the tackle. And we'll do it all again. Yeah, you called Curtis Taylor in that passage of play, Todd. Yet to uh, have a disposal. So he's looking to fight his way into this game. Here comes Fairlay. Got the hand pass away. Now through King. They'll go backwards. This North Melbourne zone is being tough for these Bull Ants to penetrate through as they find themselves kicking short. Now they have to go to a contest and a great turnover there with Smith. He'll go out wide. Almost trying to get there was Archer. He got the hand pass away in the end. And then from the zone, they look to spread and attack. Archer looking for a target. Finds one. Great hit to find Phillips. They'll get it on the right boot. Put it to the top of the square. Pack flies. Great tackle there by Greenwood. But unfortunately, it was high. Looks like a North player might be down here, so just keep an eye on that. I will, Todd, clutching at his ankle. I'm just keeping an eye on that. It looks like it may be Cooper Harvey. So, uh, yeah, Cooper Harvey's feet. Is. Yeah, he looks very ginger, doesn't he? Matthew King here for the Bull Ants. Now, interesting, what will the Bull Ants do in this last few minutes? Will they just try and shut it down and try to ensure that North Melbourne don't score again just by chipping it around, playing the safe option? So King goes into the middle. He finds his target there in McCormick. North Melbourne VFL list last year. That, that's the kick that's letting him down. Once again, Deacon Smith intercept mark. That, that kick towards the 50 has just got to be better. I look to kick over the zone here. Archer came across and just clobbered Jorgensen there. Lucky not to give away a 50. Jorgensen on the edge of 50. Sell some candy. Archer with a big tackle. Forced to give it away here. North look to counter attack. They go out wide with a hand pass. Now back into the middle. Here's Watkins. He got a quick hand pass away to Bergman. Bergman on the right boot. Tried to find Greenwood, but the kick was just a little wayward. The Bull Ants will end up with it here. They'll look to go out onto the wing. Mackey pushing hard to get out here. Scoops it up with one hand, but he's tackled. Tries to get rid of the Goodby tackler, but couldn't. Taylor will swoop in and pick it up. Finds a target short in Shields. Shields will go in now with the hand pass to George. He just stifles the kick and gets it back with a 1-2. Goes out wide to Archer. They've got an option further afield here. All the way out to Downey now. He'll look inboard. Stuck that into the corridor. Not a bad hit. Just was in front of his intended target in Lawson. He'll pick it up. Sell a bit of candy. Get the hand pass over the top now. Hanson. He goes in to the pocket. Bull Ants on the rebound. They'll get it going out wide. And that's King. He'll come in now. Alaceris on the ball. 28 minutes gone here. This is... Well, that's going to be the end of the quarter. I was... I have to say, I'm sensing it anytime soon, but how did you make it that first quarter, Dan? Well, I actually think Rowan Welsh should be... T well, the umpire holds the ball in the air, air, the siren sounds to get this second quarter underway. In the ruck, that one came down. Valenciaris just couldn't quite get it in the end. Hamilton will scoop it up here for the Bull Ants. He was caught high, but play on note. He wanted a push in the back, so he'll come back. Nearly had his head taken off to Josh Hamilton. He was North Melbourne VFL last year, playing against his old team. Velasaris ran out of room as he made his way over the line. We'll get a boundary thrown on the outer side. And even then, just an easy hit there to Velasaris. Josh Hamilton just wasn't able to execute the kick. Look, he's getting plenty of it. He's up to 12 disposals, Josh Hamilton. 
Free and Johnson battle away. Free got front position, got the double hand to tap out. Velasaris went forward with the kick there, bent it around the body. Brown tried to pick it up, but he was wrapped up pretty quickly. Didn't have much opportunity, and we'll get a ball up. Just outside 50 here for the Bull Ants. Positive signs here in the second quarter. Free in the ruck, got that tap down. He'll get it back and then feed a hand pass out wide. They look to attack the middle of the ground. Greenwood trying to get under it for North. Couldn't. Great work in the end by Wallace. He went that hand pass backwards, but there was a tackle. And we'll get another stoppage in the middle of Arden Street. Free. Got the tap over the back. Just using all of his height there. Johnson trying to use his body to get underneath. Franks was then wrapped up in a tackle. Free again, winning that ruck tap. And now North will look to get the clearance here. They go inside 50. Finbar getting out to the... Sorry, Sellers picks it up. Sellers bends it around the body and kicks an absolute beauty to Sellers. Ran onto that one nice. And with a great finish. That was nice and tidy play. Yeah, really good play by Will Phillips. That's his strength. He's an inside ball winner. He was just able to free his hands, free his arms up, win the stoppage. They've been down in clearances. This quarter they've started okay. They're three to one ahead of the Bull Ants, but they're still six down for the game. Bull Ants 11-5 in clearances, but that's a win for Will Phillips there. North have had the luxury of multiple ruckmen in this one. They're quite a bit of tall timber in this team. They're a huge side, aren't they? They've got, what, Will Dawson and Taylor Goad and Biggie Newon and Charlie Combin, Amish Freet. Lance looking really clean there. Valenceros got it, but it was a turnover. Hardiman went the kick out wide. Now North just building play here. They use a lot of the width of the ground. Shields comes in board, looking for free, but... That was spoiled. Picked up there, Crosby. Got the hands away. Now Mackey's got it. Mackey, that's a great hit. Good pass there from Mackey in the middle. Resulted into a fantastic inside 50, and now the Bull Ants will get a shot on goal. And Jorgensen copped one late. He's just down, taking a little bit of time to get up, and a little bit of extra push and shove. That was a little bit earlier in the game. We saw a little bit going on, and Jorgensen was in the thick of it then. But it just goes to show, if you use the ball well, like Liam Mackey did there, you give your forwards opportunities. It's an interesting uh, battle, isn't it? The Jorgensen and Charlie Combin battle. They've had a little bit of uh, a couple of fiery exchanges so far in this game. So John Jorgensen, Essendon VFL last year, finds himself with the Bull Ants. You can get two for the game. Had one early. The only goal kicker for the Bull Ants. Hicks that beautifully off the boot. That was nice and true. And again, Hicks They're at it again. Plenty of afters going on. He's let him know about it. And yeah, you're right. Charlie Compton and Jorgensen, they are not on each other's Christmas card list at all. You've just got to be careful here. So this is starting to turn a little ugly. It's ended up be a bit of an all-in action. And this is the exact result of Jorgensen's last goal. Jared Crosby doesn't mind a little bit of uh, action there. The uh, tattooed number 17 for the Northern Bull Ants. He's still going. Ball back to the middle here. A little bit of confusion in the setup after the Mallard. And I think it's going to be a 6 6 6 penalty. Johnson will have the ball in the middle. So undisciplined stuff from both teams there. And they'll go out wide here. Hamilton, he takes off. Got well caught. Done. Great tackle. It is a fantastic tackle. Greenwood, he's no stranger to contact. He went in and under, but winning the footy there. Now they'll come out wide. Drury puts it in. Not a bad kick to find Sellers. Just at the top there. He'll get it. Try and turn. He'll spin out of it. Got the hand pass away. Loop one over the top. Taylor kind of spent it before he earned it. And it went out over the line. It'll be a boundary throw in. It was actually quite a smart kick by Drury. I'm not sure if he meant it, but he had a two-on-one. He was able to at least give Tyler Sellers an opportunity to take that mark. So inside 50 here. 
for North. Greenwood doing all the ruck work inside 50. Works at the back, took it, snapped. It's going to go out wide. It's going to end up being out of bounds on the full. Almost bounced just on the line there. But William Wallace will bring it in here for the Bullets. One of two men out here today who have played in an AFL grand final is Hugh Greenwood. The other, of course, is Liam Shields. He played in three winning grand finals for the Hawks. Now Mackey will have it. Cross half back here. Tucked against the boundary line. Just goes long down the line here. There's Jorgensen with a ripped up jumper. Ball nearly fell in his lap. Scooping him, picking that one up was Lord. He'll get tackled. And, and again, plenty of afters with Jorgensen. He's an agitator, isn't he? John Jorgensen? He definitely is. I like his physicality, though. We've got a free kick here. It's going to go in the favour of Johnson. He feeds a hand pass short. Valenceris went with a dinky kick that was smothered. Fairlight tried to get it out but couldn't. Shields got it away to Lord and he cleared it down the line. Coming over the back there with a big fist. That was good. That was handy. Bullets will go short with a kick, but it ends up being out of bounds on the full. Play will restart here with Deacon Smith. Blake Drew, he just copped another knock. He copped one in the first corner, and now he's copped uh, his second knock for the game. So hopefully he's okay. A bit of a scone to the back of the head. Lord. Puts it into the corridor. Over the back here. Great work there from Buchanan. He bent it around the body, but turned over. Bergman now. He's a great kick of the footy. He's Bergman. Just sticks that in. That was lovely. Finding Maley. What's really stood out for me, for Miller Bergman so far in this game, is his ball use, his ability to hit his target when kicking. A really nice spot up to Finbar Maley, who I haven't seen play forward too often, but he certainly looks a likely type. He presents really well, like he did on that occasion. Let's see if he can finish the job. It's a bit of a wayward kicking style, though. It's a bit awkward and came off the boot a little awkward as well. Deep into the pocket here, trying to keep that one in. It was Al Hawley. He couldn't quite. Now throw throwing here. Dangerous territory for the Bull Ants. Mainly in the ruck. Gets it. Now he looks to go hand pass inboard. Tried to find Lord. He lost the footy. Bull Ants away here through Franks. Now they work it out through a series of hand passes. Fair line. Got it going wide. Almost run down in the tackle. Clearing kick by to May, but it was turned over. Cobden got caught. Jorgensen flicked a little hand pass over. Ball went up out over the line as McCormick tried to keep it in. Tyson Pickett wouldn't be happy with that. I feel that he should, uh, should have had the free there against Charlie Combin. I think he got a hand to that ball, Charlie. Andre throwing here. Goad versus Johnson. Johnson got the tap at the back. Valenceris was bursting through, but he was wrapped up straight away. That's a real strength to his game, John Luke Valenceris. He is a stoppage beast. Likes to get the ball on the move. Just his ability with that next possession, though. That's what he's got to work on. Here's Lord. Bottom of the pack. Ball spills out. Taylor got the good hand pass away. That was a great reliever. Ball right in the middle of Arden Street. Sellers applying the tackle. Then Greenwood cr comes crashing in with the tackle as well. We'll get a stoppage right in the middle here. Goad, pulled it out of the ruck and went forward with it. Oh, well done. Taylor trying. Just couldn't quiet. A bit of high contact there. Appeals from the boundary line, but just on the wrong side of... So that was official. a great contest by Curtis Taylor and also the young man from the Bull Ants, Buchanan. Both put their bodies on the line. Curtis Taylor, never a high possession player, but you know you're going to get a physical contest from him every time. 
Here's Pickett taking on Nguyen, but he bounced off him. Then he lost the footy. Here's Smith. He went inboard there to Bergman. He'll go short and wide. Hardman now. Goes out to a wing. It's a good target in the end. Really evasive stuff there from Hansen to take that grab. We'll go further afield. Here's Maley. Pack flies. Comes over the back. Buchanan with a clearance. He found his man here on the wing. Now they'll come in while just turn that over. Smith on it again. Managed to get the hand pass away, but to not much effect. Hawali couldn't get rid of it. Smith got the hand pass now. North are out here. They find Taylor. He's got a little bit of space, but it's a real high kick. Not a great one. Oh, Wallace will find himself under it, but didn't mark it. Now Wallace will have to go all the way back deep into the pocket. Kick worked out in the end. And now they can work it out here. Donegan goes into the middle. Well, uh, that's a better kick from Sam Donegan. Alaceris now to Wall. He'll go to the pocket. Jorgensen trying to get across, but probably too deep for him. Great tackle pressure there by Comden. Play on. Comden was awarded for his hard work. They'll go into the middle. Sloppy stuff. Al Hawali got it. Picked it up. Got the hand pass away. And now they'll go inside. They get a 50 entry. Pretty good defensive pressure there from the Bullets. So Will Phillips trying to do the right thing and bring the ball back through the dangerous area in the ground, but he just wasn't able to execute. That's probably what he needs to get a little bit better at. And a turnover in the uh, Dennis Armfield lookalike in Jared Crosby having a shot for goal. You're right there. Uh, he does have a bit of Dennis Armfield about him, does Crosby. He's on debut for the Bull Ants. North Heidelberg fella is his community club. Just inside 50 when he kicks it. That's a lovely kick like too. That. Now Bull Ants have three. Crosby on the scoreboard. So that resulted in some great pressure from the Bull Ants and they're able to get that nice inside 50 entry catching North off guard. They're looking okay. Yeah, I really like the Northern Bull Ants intent. Uh, they're certainly in the game in a lot of areas. And they were able to cause a turnover there. And a great reward for Jared Crosby. So only 18 points now. Halfway through this second quarter. So Greenwood will come into the ruck here. He was just taking the ruck duties in the forward half of the ground. But now he's into the middle. Both teams... Playing a little bit of a small ball lineup as Greenwood got it and then put it inside 50. Great mark by Brown. He'll go across here to Jacobs. Come out to a wing. That's then taken. Romulitis. He'll go short to Mackey. Mackey just goes down the line with it. What a bad kick in the end. Franks couldn't quite get it. North will pounce here and they'll look to attack through Smith. Loops a hand pass over the top. He's free. Back to Smith. Smith, that's a great hit up. Yeah. Good play. Very smart stuff. And Taylor Sellers will have it in the pocket. He's looking inboard, but now he changes his mind. He's going to shape up and have a shot at goal. Taylor Sellers. Yeah, it's their ability to turn the ball over on the bull ants and then use the ball really well and Deacon Smith just then he's up to 12 disposals like his game so far so Sellers deep in the pocket here it's going to be a tough kick but that's accurate wow. that's lovely that's really nice great kick there from Taylor Sellers North have six He's a nice size, isn't he? Tyler Sellers. He attracts the footy. He leads well. He's got nice forward craft. Both on the lead and in the contest. And now he's got three goals to his name. 
So he's a real watch for me over the next few weeks. Tyler Sellers. Just a natural goal kicker. 30 goals last season in only 16 appearances. He finished runner-up in the best and fairest. And now he finds himself that SSP pick. He's just got something. He's got a little X factor, I think. He could be one that could slot into that North Melbourne lineup. Just a great player to have in the forward half of the ground. Johnson versus Greenwood. Johnson won the tap. Came down to fair lie, but just couldn't get it going. Ford. Fairlie's had a ton of it early. 18 disposals. As he applies the pressure here with a tackle. It's going to come out for a push in the back here. It's going to be North Melbourne ball through Lord. And quickly, straight away, they get the hand pass away and look to attack. Maley was at the back of it there. Couldn't quite get it. Now it will come out here. Drury got it. He had a shot. And he'll just sneak it into the behind post for another behind. So uh, he's a 32-year-old man, is Hugh Greenwood. He's exceptionally tall for a midfielder, now playing in the ruck, and for a guy who's 32 years of age, he's moving exceptionally well. He's still got his leap. He is a basketballer after all, isn't he? He certainly is. Mackie will go into the pocket. I guess, obviously, being picked up by North, he just had a struggle there with that season last year, but he would look to try and get one more crack at it. Go out wide here, Romulitis. But he's been a great leader around the club. Interesting story. Changed to the number one in tribute to his mum, Audrey. He was wearing the number 18. His mum, unfortunately, passed away with breast cancer in 2017. So he wears the one on his back for his mum. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Fair light. Down the line with it, but again turned over. North Melbourne's defensive structure has been fantastic. It's been really led by that man in Cobden. He's been a real leader across the back line. Bit of a game of kick to kick at the moment. Ball went to the back of the pack. Be wrapped up. They'll Blance will get it out here. They'll get. The clearance going forward for them. That was a good mark there by Elliot. What's happened here? Is he... Oh, I thought he took that cleanly. I think it was yeah. just well, over the line. Okay. That boundary line on the outer side. It's quite deceiving. It's quite a way in from the fence. Probably a little further in than normal. The gap between the boundary line and the fence. It's quite a deceiving one. I was in your camp. I thought he did that. Greenwood won the tap. Now they'll come inboard here to north. Oh, good mark. Well done, Ethan Mantis. Yeah, fantastic mark going back with the flight there by Mantis. Courageous thing to do and very hard thing as well just to time it and get it going right. He goes out wide to Jacobs. He'll come back to King. To Wallace. He'll go even wider, Buchanan. He goes short. It's his man in Mantis. Appeals for 50 here. Mantis will go short. He finds Velasaris. So North happy to give these short kicks away. They're trying to force that one down the line or force something to a contest as they're defending space rather than a man. And that's... The kick that plays right oh, into well their done. hands. Romulitis with the shot. Drills at home. Great work. They burst through the zone. They pick it apart. And they get one out the back. Oh, I really like that. They were patient. Their ball use was spot on. And then they created a contest in their 50. And really nice hands by our man, Jared Crosby. Lightning hands to big bad John Romuliotis. I've liked his game so far too. Romeliotis. He's been sent around the ground a few times, hasn't he? He's been in the middle, he's been on up forward, he's been down back at small stages. He's been a real Mr. Fix It for the Bullants yep. and gets that goal. He's first. He's an unusual shape for a player at this size. Uh, uh, sorry, at this standard is John Romeliotis. 
really big fella he is, but as you say, he's a pinch hitter, and today he's been a real positive for the Northern Bullants. Well, holding the ball here, the Bullants have got another opportunity to go forward with it, and they do through Hamilton. He goes out wide. Great work there to run his opponent under the footy by Brown. He's just got to pick it up here and tries and just keeps it in front of him, and the boundary line beat him. And it'll be out over the line. It'll be a boundary thrown on the outer side. 21 minutes played here. Yeah, they're up and about here, the Northern Bull Ants. They've outscored North Melbourne this quarter, three goals to two. Romulitis in the ruck against Free. Free won the tap. But Bull Ants end up with it. They go to the top of the square. Good defensive pressure. And it's over the line. Jacobs couldn't quite get it going for him. North waste absolutely no time, and they bring it out broadcast side. Great tackle there by Wahl. All still just popping out of that pack. Franks was on it, but he couldn't get rid of it. We'll get a ball up. Yeah, you mentioned Wahl Wahl, young man from Berwick. His defensive pursuits and his speed that saw in these practice games is, is elite. He obviously needs to learn the game a little bit more in other areas, but if you've got that mindset of being able to chase down your opponent and be excellent at the one percenters, then you've certainly got something going for you. Free, won the tap, got it down. Kick into centre wing here. Oh, that's a great mark by Maley. Elects to play on. Kicks to an open 50, though. Only one Bull Ants player back there, and that was Wallace. Geez, raw Finbar, mate. Maley, isn't he? He can take a catch. Probably just needs to work on his ball use and his decision making, but that'll come. I think that's something North will work with him. But he's certainly got the raw ingredients, Finbar Maley. Certainly does. Compton with a great mark and then went inboard. He found Bergman. Bergman just looped that in to Phillips. He goes further afield. This is where North Melbourne have been really good. They've just been patient. Back to Bergman. Just outside 50. Bergman just points to goal bound. He says, I'm probably going to put this at the top of the square. Got plenty of players who can fly here, North. So he's just going to sit that one up. Not a bad hit in the end. Punch from behind. McCormick got it away with the hands. Now they'll go out wide. Romiliatis out there. Tried to get it, but the boundary line will beat them both. Get a throw in. So leading disposal winners for the Kangaroos. Liam Shields, 14. Miller Bergman, 13. Really like his ball use by foot today. Braden George, a real confidence booster for him. He's already had 12 disposals for the game. Free, won the tap. Just caught up there in the passage of play. Free will dive on it here. Get a ball up just outside 50. Free just ran into the back of Johnson. No call there. Only contested footy. Just no one unable to get out of it there. And the umpires will come in and we'll get another look at it. Johnson this time getting front position. There's a whistle here for a hold. It'd be advantage. Play on. Phillips. Put it into the corridor. Leap over the back. Wall was at the front of the pack. Wallace ended up with it and then fed it out. A hand pass and the Bull Ants through King now. They go out wide to Hamilton. Hamilton, that was a lovely kick. Nice and creative. Found Mantis. Mantis saying to the boys, let's calm it down. Let's get a bit of structure. Mantis goes down the line. Cobden couldn't quite get it in the end. Here comes Pickett. Pickett, an awkward kick there. Got the wrong side of the footy, and it managed to stay in, but it just goes out. Could have bounced the other way, and McCormick could have been on. They're actually worrying the Kangaroos when the ball hits the ground. They're fleet of foot, these Northern Bull Ants boys. They're small. As long as they can compete in the air, there's certainly a chance. Ball thrown in now. Free got front position. Awkward bounce there for a while. 
Just got collected high. And he'll get a free kick here. So he'll get a shot of goal here. His body on the line there and he's rewarded with the free kick. So they've gone back to the traditional setup in the ruck of North Melbourne with Hamish free now in the ruck. And Hugh Greenwood, after having a little breather, has come back on the ground and is going to play forward for the last few minutes of this quarter. Just wheels around. Awkward kick in the end. It falls short and punched over the line for a behind. Yuan will bring it in for North. He elects to go short. So the ball's going to have to come back. It's someone with a new jumper, it looks like there. Number 79. We don't have him on the team list, but it could have been... Uh... Is that maybe Will Dawson? Big fellow. Potentially. I was thinking the exact same thing as you there. We'll find that out. He started as number 18, so uh, he might have, might have had a jumper change there. Bergman went out wide to Shields. Comes in back to Bergman. Go down the wing here. Coming in board. There's Lord. A leaving hand pass. Trying to get under a ball at the back of the pack here. Mantis got to it first. He went out wide with the hand pass. Greenwood. Good series of handballs here from North. Well it just comes back in. Turned over. High tackle potentially. Holding the ball. North are going to get a shot on goal here. Ended up being a great tackle there by Shields. Obviously, Shields had that calf injury. It cut his season short last year. and I think his value is more than just being on the ground, is Liam Shields. To have a, an experienced head with this young group, to be able to show them the ropes and show them how to be an AFL footballer. I agree with you. Let's see if he can finish this one here. It's going to be a tough shot. Just comes around. Looks going to stay out to the far post. Pack form there. There was no score. Free had it, but he was parried out over the line. We're going to get a boundary throw in deep inside 50 here. 28 and a half minutes played here in the second term. Yeah, they'll just be hoping to get numbers around the ball here. The ball answer and close this down. Go, trying to get front position. Johnson got the tap out to Fairlie. And there's going to be a free kick here. It's going to go in favour of the Bull Ants in Johnson. Holding of the jumper is the call. Well, no one seems to know what's happening here. Oh, so the umpire... Oh, he's, he's, he's given... He pointed... <laughs> he pointed the wrong way. The and, wrong way, yeah. Then the other yeah. direction. So it looks like Goad is going to get the shot on goal now. So Johnson was holding Goad. So pick number 20 in the draft. South Adelaide boy. Another basketball background player. Awkward kick, and it's a behind. So, North just unable to kick straight at the moment. 6 8 44, the ball ends 4 2 26. Look, I really like Max Johnson's effort today in the ruck. He is undersized coming up against the 200 centimeter, 207 centimeter Taylor Goad and also Hamish Free, but he's given away three or four free kicks today, so he just needs to be able to neutralize the contest and make sure he doesn't give away easy frees, particularly in front of goal. Jacobs back to Mackey. Mackey goes inboard. Lasaris goes out wide. Go down the line. Oof, that was a lucky one. Come off his shin. Go Hawley. Go Hawley on the right boot. And his man. Now they'll come inboard. Fairlight just spilled to the north away here. Greenwood, good feeding handball. That's a great hit. Mailey, run out of time. He was almost going to get it, and that's half time. It's North Melbourne, 6 8 44. The Bull Ants, 4 2 26. I think they'll be playing uh, 11 to 6 North Melbourne, but they were down by 
nine at quarter time. So in a lot of areas, the ball ants are statistically beating North, but North are just using the ball a little uh, bit better than the ball ants. Johnson wins the ruck tap. Got it to Velasaris, but he was pinged holding the ball. I also might add that it looks like Cooper Harvey, the young North Melbourne forward who looked like he had an ankle problem there in the first quarter. Shields went inside 50 with that kick and Greenwood will take the mark and he'll get a shot at goal here. So success early here for this North Melbourne outfit. Looks like Cooper Harvey isn't on the ground or starting on the ground in this third quarter. So potentially he could uh, put the tracksuit top on for the day. So Greenwood directly in front from about 25 out. Where he kicks it from. Awkward run up, but gets it on the boot. And he kicks that one. That was nice and easy. So North start their account with a goal. Straight out the middle. And straight inside 50. And a goal. He's been Mr. Everywhere today. Hugh Greenwood playing in the ruck for some minutes in the second quarter. And uh, going forward and taking a mark and kicking a goal. A man we know has been a, an inside midfielder at AFL level. He's a brute of a man, isn't he, Todd? I'd, he'd, he'd be at least 6'3", I, I reckon, with Hugh Greenwood. He's a big boy, quite broad as well. And you're right, he can play multiple positions. Finds himself up forward at the moment. And he got on the end of some handy work. Free in the ruck. Got the tap. And then a tackle wrapped up. Great tackle there by oh, Phillips. Wow. Phillips gets rewarded for his hard effort. To May couldn't get rid of it. Phillips looking for the relief hand pass. Gets it now to Bergman, who's been brilliant. Bergman pumps the ball long into the forward line. Sits at the back of the pack. There's a foot race here. It could be on. That's just going to be rushed over the line for a behind. So Mackie with a kick in duties. Got options in the pocket, but he elects to go long. Looks that one over the top. Almost a mark there, but it'll be... Looks like uh, John Jorgensen might be wearing the number 27 jersey there, Todd, after being involved in a few uh, little fracas in that first half. So Cobden, he'll go in with a bit of a mongrel kick, though. It's an awkward-looking one. He'll be parried out over the line. We actually have two jumper changes in this game, but Jorgensen was wearing the one. He'll go to 27, and Dawson, Will Dawson, had the 18. He's now got the 79. There has been a little bit of push and shove in this game. And obviously those two playing on each other, Jorgensen and Dawson, both in jumper changes from a little bit of extras. Shields just ran out of room. it will be a good challenge for Will Dawson. Only had the one disposal in the game. Baptism of fire playing at this level. An outstanding junior prospect. And John Jorgensen, who's a decent forward at this level, be a good contest. Greenwood just pushed Johnson out the way, then couldn't quite get the ball. That one's cleared. Dawson and Jorgensen went at it, but it went over the back. And getting that one away was Brown, but it was an ugly sort of kick. Free bent down to pick that one up. Fantastically for a man of his size. Got it to Hardiman. Now Shields. But I think Shields ran out of room again and he was over the line. It's going to be a boundary throw in. Only the five disposals to Hardiman has shown some run and carry off half back in his first game for the Kangaroos. Almost a shallow throw. Johnson had to. Get there with Freeman. Scooped up nicely. Still in congestion at the moment. Phillips got it out. Now they go wide. Shields got the hand pass going to Hanson. And it's a behind. I thought he might have snuck that one back from this angle. He's had a couple of opportunities at that end of the ground and just hasn't been able to convert. Nice chain out of... Hand passes at that stoppage from the Kangaroos. Hanson's got a hand to it. Greenwood loads up with the left, but he misses everything. And it worked its way out over the line. He won't be happy with that one. Freeman 
So Greenwood got the hands on Hanson tapped it to him and he was gifted a present but didn't finish. You're almost a deer in headlights when an opportunity like that presents itself. You don't expect it to happen and unfortunately he wasn't able to convert. And again that throw defeating all Ruckman if just came short. Greenwood diving on that one. Just trying to lock that one in and it does get locked in inside 50. Also Sellers was in there as well. Sellers has been fantastic. Three goals this afternoon for Tyler Sellers as you, if you've just tuned in. Oh, great ones as well. Lentz looking to clear this one here but they ran out of room on the outer side. El Hawali just couldn't quite get it out. All went to the front of the pack. One by the Ruse. And they go to the top of the square. Great mark and good set up. Fantastic play. And it's that man, Finbar Maley, the raw talent. Got an opportunity to kick another one here. One to his name already this afternoon. Yeah, nice hit up by Sam Lawson, who's been quiet in this game. An experienced player at this level. And... Let's just watch Finbar Maley's kicking style here. It is a little awkward. Awkward, but effective. And that one went in. And so North just pegging away at the moment. Almost alarm bells here for the Bull Ants. They want to get the next one going their way. So for North fans driving home from the AFL game, you've got a prospect here in Finbar Maley. He's taking the six marks today. His athleticism is off the charts. He attracts the ball. He's a good mark. He does have an ungainly kicking style, though, which they may need to work on. But his return today has been two goals, one. I think you said it earlier, Dan. I think you summed it up best. He's just one of those raw talents. Athleticism is he's gifted with. And he's going to certainly get better. In the ruck now, go. Tried to pick it up but couldn't. Now Johnson gets the hand pass out. Valence will get an entry here. And that one was just intercepted too easily. Comden, he's been brilliant with his intercept marking this afternoon. He goes out to Smith. The loop one over the top here to Phillips. Phillips back to Smith. That handball missed the target. Al Hawali now for the Bullants. He'll go back with a the handball. They'll look to set up some play here. Just outside 50. Great bump there by Fairlight. Tried to take the grab but couldn't. Al Hawali dives on the footy. He comes in now. Picking that up was Fairlight. Then he went with a hand pass in. Now they go inside 50. Yeah, that was Will Elliott who hey. had an opportunity there, the, the tall Northern Bullants uh, forward. And he just, I think a year. In a year or two, he'd, he'd take that grab, but he just hasn't got the body, perhaps, at the moment and the strength in the contest. He's cobbed and he goes out wide, trying to find Taylor. Just spilled the chest mark, and then the ball goes to the bottom of the pack, and we'll get a ball up on the outer side. Only the three touches today to Curtis Taylor. Great tackle there by Johnson. As the ball goes out over the line, we'll get a boundary thrown on the outer side. Johnson's put in a real big shift today for his club. In terms of the hit-outs battle, he leads 13. Hamish Free with 11. Hugh Greenwood was in there pinch-hitting with four. Goad with four. He's had to put in a big effort as he takes on Goad this time. Goad tried to leap over the back. Johnson got it going four. Then Goad tried to follow the footy, but Al Hawali got the hand pass away out of the pack. Still in the middle. Contested footy. Hotly contested here. Umpire letting it go on. He eventually blows his whistle and comes in and intervenes and will get a ball up. Looks like Miller Bergman might have just copped one to the chops there. So hopefully he's okay. Goad won the tap that time. Got it going out wide. North now. Try and generate play here through Taylor. He loops it over the top to Smith. Smith was nice there. Got the hand pass away. They're building nicely here 
Just outside 50. Open man inside. Watkins. We'll go back. He looks like he's comfortable with having a shot. A good ball used by North Nolan there. Deacon Smith in particular, who featured in that passage of play. He's been ultra impressive for me. Very composed with ball in hand. The man who's come over from Casey. Kicks this from about 49. Uh, the pack flies there. Great rebound here. Romelitis with it. He goes out wide looking for a target. Couldn't quite get his man out there. Great tackle. Good tackle pressure, but caught high. So, George with the ball now. Braden George. Goes into the corridor. Ended up being short, but Mark wasn't taken. Ball spills to the back. Bullets looking to rebound here again. This is what's cost them multiple times in this game. Donegan just spilled that one out over, and it'll be a boundary throw in. North have been set up really well behind the ball. Great discipline, great shape. Uh, what are the Bull Ants got to do to defeat that, do you think, Dan? Oh, look, they've just got to be able to hit their targets, uh, lower their eyes and be able to make sure that their skills are up. Johnson winning the tap now. Ball goes out to the side of the pack. In there was Mackey. He got the clearing kick. Almost spoiling that one there. George, he got it going forward for his team. Smith with the turn. He got clobbered. And he went down and ball stuck at the bottom of the pack and we're going to get a ball up. No, he's, p he's been pinged. So, it'll be Smith with the footy. He'll come out wide now to Hardiman. Hardiman goes in, finds Archer. Archer looking for an option in the pocket. Oh, Mark at the back of the pack. That was a fantastic grab in the end. Real strong. Is that our man Tyler Sellers? Contest. It does look to be Sellers. He's clutching his lower back there. I think he got a little bit of contact in that contest. It was a hefty contest, but Tyler Sellers has really impressed me today. He has three to his name already. And that was a strong pack mark. Kicked a goal from a similar angle in the second quarter. So we know he can kick these. his way in. A very, a very oh, good kick. It. Very good kick. Sellers has four for the afternoon. He's put on an absolute game. And for those who are watching, the pathway to get on an AFL list is sometimes not conventional, and he is just proof of that. He's been through the system. He was playing at Scotch, and then he was out here last season in the VFL, but then he is their SSP pickup. There's many ways to find your way on a list, and I think this young man's promising. He's putting in a great shift today. He's just an efficient forward. Clean hands, nice kick. Only had the seven touches, but every time it's in his area, he looks like he's uh, potentially going to get the ball. And, gee, if he can kick him from 45 out on a tight angle like he has today, that's another bonus. So they've very... kicked away here, the Kangaroos. You're right, he's a very crafty kick. Going in the ruck this time, and the ruck green for the Bull Ants for the first time this afternoon. It goes outside while in the contest, couldn't quite get it going. Now North, they're away again, straight through the middle, looking dangerous. Good kick by Phillips. Tried Sellers again, but that was spoiled. Good contest. Hamilton out there, but he couldn't get it. Smith brought it back in for Drury. Look over the top there from Wild. The Bull Ants are out and away here through Hamilton. He goes to Wild. He takes that one. Then tries to bend one around the corner. Center wing now. Good grab. Oh, no. Free to North free kick. It's going to be reversed. It's going to go to Cobden. Cobden finds his man in Downey. Corner Downey. Community club, East Ringwood. Downey comes in, puts it in to the corridor. Sellers flies, got one hand to it. Fell, the ball fell for King, and then he was tackled high. So King with a footy now. 
He goes out, finds his target there in Fairlight. He goes to Wale. Fairlight's put together a decent afternoon. He's had 25. Now McCormick. Oh, pushed his man under it nicely there was Dawson. The North, they just look dangerous in this situation when getting it out of the pack. Work it into the middle to Drury. He got the hand pass going forward. That was lovely play. Now they look for Sellers. Sellers tried well to work his man under the drop zone, but Wallace was strong there, took front position. Uh, well done to William Wallace there. North Melbourne have been able to chain the ball through hands really efficiently this quarter. And looking dangerous through the middle of the ground. They seem to come forward at nearly every opportunity. They don't like to chip the ball around and go sideways. They like to try and come forward at every opportunity. Fairlight now with another one. He's up to 27. He goes to Buchanan. Look to go out wide. That's a difficult kick. It's going to be turned over. Hanson has the footy now. He's going to get it out to Smith. Smith looking for options. Just lays that pass in there. Well done. A great defence there from Wallace. Another intercept mark. That's two in a row now. He's had some good moments as William Wallace. He's got a brave heart. He certainly does. He's operating with a bit of freedom back there in the back line. Archer tried to get across. Couldn't. Picked up nicely was Franks. But the ball's going to go out over the line. It's going to be a boundary throw in. Yeah, just on Charlie Combin, I, I just like the fact that he's fought back during this game. Played on John Jorgensen early, gave away a goal or two, was involved in a few little skirmishes and, shuff and scuffles, but I think that's what he really wants. Just a competitive game, and foot, game of football, tick it off and get through to next week. The ball on centre wing here. Code leaped early. He's going to give away a free kick there. So it'll be Bullard's ball here. It'll be Luke Green. Green. Al Hawley. He goes out short. Finding fair lie. Didn't get the mark the first go. Then just got an awkward hand pass away to Donegan. He goes into the pocket, but it was a rush kick. And getting back there was Cobden. He's been fantastic with his marks this afternoon. That's his sixth mark. He'll go short to Archer. Archer now takes off, plays on, sticks it out wide. Greenwood's out there. He gets it on the first scoop. Then got it to Phillips. He just overran the footy. Bergman, pick up. Got the hands away. Bullets are on here. Through Crosby. And Crosby sprays it. And he goes out of bounds on the full. North will have the ball on the last side of defence. Just a little bit of a lack of composure there from Jared Crosby. Hasn't had many opportunities. Did kick a goal in the second quarter. Oh, fly over the back from Sellers. Went to the front there. Drury got the hand pass going to Shields. Now they're working around. Drury's got it again. Just spins out of that one. Now with the footy there is Hardeman. He flicked it over the top. Now North away. They've just been brilliant at this. They've got options out wide here. Watkins couldn't quite get that on the first bite. Knocked it forward. Watkins picks it up, gets it to Greenwood. It's at his toes. He now picks it up nicely. Greenwood gets a hand pass away. Now it's in the pocket. Bends it around. Looks home. It is home. Great work. And Sellers has another. Gee, the style of play by North Melbourne today, it is an attacking brand, isn't it, Todd? They take the game on through the middle of the ground. Looks like they train it, and they train it well. The run and carry, the ability to come forward at every opportunity. It's not a dull style of football, is it? it you know, as I said, they don't chip it around. They don't look to suck up the clock. They just take the game on and hope for the best. And if you train it enough, you're going to get the rewards. Yeah, you're right, 100%. And for a forward like Sellers, he'd be loving that sort of action. But it feels like their game is built on defence. Once they get that turnover, they spread and go. They, they just back each other in. They know that the ball's going forward. So as soon as they see a man in the stripes with the footy, they just start to move and spread. And, and a 
afraid to not afraid to link up and do all those wonderful things. And if you can get service like Salas has this afternoon, well, you get on the end of a few talking about service. So that one was at the feet of Salas. Bullance looking to rebound here. Salas applying great pressure with the tackle. Oh, now it comes into Lord. Lord bends it around. He has a go at it, but is that just bouncing before the line? No, it'll be out on the full. Some good signs from Cooper Lord. I think he'd be the youngest man on the ground, potentially, being the uh, young Sandy Dragons player. Like the fact that he was prepared to put his body on the line there. Wallace to Mackey. Mackey comes into the middle. Donegan. Loops one over to Brown. Now Fairlight. They go out here to Johnson, who rejoins the game. He had a spell on the bench. Hand pass inboard to Franks. Good hit there by Franks to Crosby. That was a lovely bit of play. In the end, Max Johnson's handball probably didn't go to the favoured side that he wanted it to, but it ended up being a positive for the Kangas. Uh, sorry, for the Northern Bull Ants, because it made Kayla Franks have to straighten and hit up that short kick. And here's our man, the Dennis Armfield lookalike and Jared Crosby. It's going to be a tough kick. Going to kick it from about 48, 49 once he makes his way in. Sprayed one earlier. That one looks to the right and short. They fly at the back. Johnson tried to get a bit of it and so did Jorgensen, but will come out over the line. So they've had a habit over the last year or two, the Northern Bull Ants, of staying in the game for little periods of time, but then getting overrun, and, and sometimes the margins have been large. We know, though, that they're a fit side, so they'll just be trying to limit the damage here. Snap by Fairlie. Well done. It's good. Fairlie with a goal. Fantastic. He deserves one. He's put in a big afternoon. That was possession number 30 for him. And now he's rewarded with a goal. So they've had some big numbers in terms of their ball winners. Fairley, Hamilton, Al Hawley, Mackey and Valisaris. 30 to Fairley, 23 Hamilton, 19 Al Hawley, 19 Mackey and 18 Valisaris. And we're not even to three-quarter time. So it goes to show that the Bull Ants, they flick the ball around. They're a high-position team. Yes, they make some mistakes at times and they're going to continue to make errors but they do play a nice brand of football in some ways I like it when the ball hits the ground for the Bull Ants that's when they're at their most dangerous yeah correct I agree with you there they do a good job of that free snatches it out of the ruck and got it on the boot with a real high oh, one there we go. sitting good under mark. that was Curtis Taylor He's going to assess his options here. He's going to look to pick out a pass and does exactly that. Great defense by Wallace. Just got a little bit on it. Here's Fairlie. He'll get it moving for the Bull Ants. They'll go out here to Al Hawley. Just goes out wide. Working under that one nicely there was George. He takes off, but he was slammed in a tackle. Great pressure here. That kick almost turned over. Great hand pass there from Drury. He got it moving for his team. Here's Shields. Great pass by Shields. That's just class. He's had a few class balls like that today here, Shields, and just really set his team up. Great mark here by Hanson, and he'll have a shot at goal. Yeah, some of their kickers today in Bergman and Shields have just been able to hit that inside 50 kick perfectly. Looks like Braden George is okay after that heavy tackle. He's another player, North fans will just want him to get through to the end of this game. That kick looked like it was going left and it just went left enough. It hit the upright. So North now 10-11-71. 24 minutes played here in the third term. Three behinds to Hanson for the game. Mackey short. And a fair light. He goes in with a hand pass. Lance looking dangerous here. Johnson oh, coming well across there. Brilliant words. You on. Crosby got the tackle on. He's rewarded. So Crosby with it now. It was a good intercept by Biggie, but I'd like to see him actually take those marks. Crosby looking for Jorgensen. He was worked under it, but he had to take on two. That ball out 
over the line there. Pickett ran out of room. He got the hand pass in. They thought they were on, but couldn't quite. So he can read the play well in the air, can Biggie New on, and he can affect the contest. But it's just that last touch. Can he take the catch? I've seen him a little bit at this level, and that's just where he needs to finish off his work in the air. So Johnson worked under that one. Franks with it now. Turns. Puts it to the top of the square. Jorgensen wrestling for position. Couldn't quite get it. At the foot of the pack there was Brown. Got the hand pass out. The snap came, but wasn't good enough. Now north away. They look dangerous here. Shields loops the hand pass out wide. Now they go into Drury. He couldn't quite get all of it, but oh, well worked done. his man under it. Got it back. That kick was a dinky one. Fair lies here. He'll get it for the Bull Ants. Now they'll go through the middle. Nice kick out wide here. Good hit of the target. Here's Pickett. Pickett, sure one. Archer with a smother. He's going to chase. Pickett takes him out over the line. It's going to be a boundary throw in. Yeah, the ball's really being flicked around now, isn't it? Yeah, the game's starting to open up. A few tired legs out there. Obviously, round one, it's been a big preseason for both of these teams. They're super fit, but just when you get into a real match at round one, it, it can start to gas out early. Brilliant work there by Smith. Great hand pass to McCormick. He put it to the top of the square, but it's just over the back of the pack. It'll be a behind. Yeah, Tyson Pickett just come off the ground there. He's had a couple of bloopers today, but he's a player who looks to me like he'll just get better every game he plays. Only had the five disposals. But certainly got some talent. Smith with the awkward kick here. Great tackle in the end by Mackey. Caught high, so it's going to be North ball here. They don't want to give that one away. So here's Lawson. Goes into the corridor, but it almost turned over. Drury's going to pick it up here. Drury just loops one over the top. He's got players out here. Taylor, they raffled it off in the end. Bend that around the body, but it's wide into the left. And Downey will be awarded the behind. So just to recap, Cooper Harvey. Looked like he suffered a lower leg ankle injury in the first quarter. We haven't seen him back on the ground for some time. So he'd be wrapped up in cotton wool and hopefully, fingers crossed, not too much damage. And that one knocked out over the line by Smith and we'll get a boundary throw in here. Fairline now with 34. Leads all comers. Shields next with 23. And Josh Hamilton for the Balance with 23. Al Hawley with 22. All to the front of the pack. Scooped up nicely. There was Donigan, but couldn't get rid of it in time. Great kick there forward by Shields. Picked up nicely. Sellers across the face. Taylor's got a chase here. He'll get cut off by Al Hawley. He's got a great set of wheels, but that ball found its way over the line and we'll get a boundary throw in. One thing North need to improve on is their efficiency going inside 50. They've had 51 inside 50s today and only kicked the 10 goals. I know they've missed a number of opportunities, but that return's probably not what they wanted. Greenwood, look to the front of the pack. Got a whistle here. It's going to be a bull ants free kick. So King will have the footy across half back. Pack forms. Jorgensen got to the front. Couldn't quite get it. They'll He'll wrap his man up, however. He wrapped up Lord and will get a ball up. He's played a good game, is Jorgensen. Yeah, he competes in the air, doesn't he? He's got uh, a bit of mongrel about him, too. Here's Phillips. He got that one out nicely. Now, 
North on the attack. Great smother. Now they're away. Al Hawley just feeding the ball in. Valenceris got the hand pass looking for Fairlight. Fairlight back. Picking it up here. Now they come back north. Beautiful play. Bergman goes back to Cobden. He'll come out wide. George. Good hit there for George to find his man in Smith. He'll go now to Drury. Drury flicks that over the top. Here's Shields. He's a great user of the footy. Look at that pass. It was a beautiful pass, but the three-quarter time siren will be to all of them. So it's North Melbourne, 10, 12, 72. The Northern Bullets, 5, 3, 33. It's throwing in the Magnus round a little bit here. Uh, Mackey thrown into the middle for the first time. It looks like he'll be playing a defensive role on Shields. Johnson tries to win the tap. Come down to Phillips. He tried to loop a handball. Velasquez got it. He'll go to Al Huali, but just missed that one. Lawson, he was wrapped up in a great tackle, but managed to get it out in the end. Now North, they look to attack. He's just going to steady. But it's well, going to be to the right. It's going to be a behind. I wouldn't want Robert Hansen having a five-foot putt at the moment because he's got <laughs> the yips. He's kicked four behinds today. Just... With John Luke Belisarius there, he, as I said, he's a clearance king. He wins plenty of it. He just needs to clean up his work, though, with his disposal. I love him as a player. A great effort to be a, a team of the VFL Team of the Year player last year. Shields got it going back there. That was a great hit to find Free. Free with a mark now. Now they back the big boy in. There's no one looking for the hand pass here. Normally, Ruckman, you want to get the hand pass straight away. Instead, he likes to go short, the Shields. Now he's a beautiful user of the footy here. What can he create? Sells a little bit of candy, then plays on, then goes with a short kick to Drury. He couldn't quite get the mark going. Now it's Wall. He'll look to come out of defence. He just sets one up here for Jorgensen, who takes the mark. Cobden trailing behind him. Jorgensen managed to get free, but he's going to wait for his teammates to catch up here. Goes to Fairlie in the middle. He goes short now to Mackey. He'll get it on the boot. That's an inside 50 for the Bull Ants. Great work in defence there. And there's Biggie, the man. He just gets it and clears it out of the fence. They'll look to rebound here. That's a high kick. That was a hospital ball in the end. Great mark. And great defensive pressure there. Al Hawley. And he's going to have a shot at goal. He looks to back himself in here. Disposal-wise, he's had plenty of it. 23 disposals for the day. Six marks. He's been good for the Bull Ants. He's been one of the shining lights for them. He'll kick this all of 50 right on the paint. He got plenty of it, but it just wasn't online. He'll be a behind. He looks fitter to me too, does Sardell Hawley. I know they've got David Butterfant working with the Bull Ants this year, so if there's a man who's going to get a team fit, it's certainly David Butterfant. We know at AFL level has success with Collingwood. I guess what's going to take this for a team like the Bull Ants, like you said, when the ball gets to the ground, it's just going to be their fitness, their pressure, and their intent on the footy. North looking to work this one out of their back line. Having a little bit of trouble with it was George, but he managed to get it away, but unfortunately there was nobody there. And the ball went out over the line. We haven't talked much about Hamish Free today, have we? The mature age ruckman. He had his shoulder problems last year. He played the eight games. I think he actually looks quite fit to me. It's Hamish Free. He's got better as the games wore on. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. Jorgensen just the tackle there. Mackey went forward with the kick. North have numbers back here. Loop that one over the top. Here's George. He went short with a hand pass, and they bend that kick around. Beats everybody. Here, go here out over the here. line. Free, okay. So that wasn't awarded. There's Maley. He got slammed in that contest. And they'll come out here. Wallace with a kick goes down the line, looking for Fairlight. He's brought his own footy as Fairlight. He's 37 now. He went in with a hand pass to McCormick with the entry. Great fist over the back there from Dawson. He's been brilliant in defence. When North picked him up, they really wanted him to fill that Ben Mackay hole, but I think it's going to be a few years before 
he matures into yeah, the look, spot in AFL. It's definitely going to take some time. He's only had the two disposals today. First time at the level. Takes these guys sometimes two to three years, some of these 18, 19-year-old key defenders to find their feet. So it's going to be a hold here. Fairlight's going to end up having a shot on goal here. Snagged one early. He's had one goal, 37 disposals, 16 kicks, 21 handballs, 10 marks and three tackles with five clearances to his name. He's been an absolute star here for the Bull Ants. He can get a second here. Just makes his way in real calm. Run up. That's a beautiful kick. That's straight. It's good. It's strong. And Fairlie has his second. Just trying to think of the right adjective for Patrick Fairley. I think it might be an accumulator. Yeah. He, um, he just knows how to find the footy. He's efficient. Doesn't look much. It's, uh, just over six foot midfielder. Just makes good decisions. and Well, he's certainly been impressive today. They have 38 and two. A great effort. Definitely gets a pass mark. And what, what happens with the uh, votes in the uh, the JJ Liston? Is he, uh, you, if your side loses by some margin, can you still get the three votes? It's a tough one, right? It's a tough one to call, but Watkins bursts through the middle. He's looking for Sellers. Sellers at the foot of the pack. Greenwood dives on it there. Talking about JJ Liston and votes. Sellers has put on a display. He's five goals. He's only had that many kicks, however. Is that enough? It's always a good talking point. Greenwood in the tap. Got it down. Belisarius picked it up and couldn't get rid of it. Greenwood and Johnson go head to head. Johnson won the tap. That'll be locked in again and we'll get another ball up here. So my prediction is due to the fitness work the Bull Ants have done over the off-season, I don't think there'll be a blowout in this game. I just get the feeling that, okay, they might not have the same talent perhaps as North Melbourne. Shields with a great pass there to find Taylor who took... No, not Taylor, sorry, apologies. To find Watkins... He'll get a shot on goal. He just lays that one off. Bergman. Oh! Big fly and hang, but didn't drop for him in the end. And there's a snap at the top of the square, but there's a whistle. And it's going to be for a throw. It'll be Bullhead's ball. That was not a bad hang there, uh, Dan. I saw a similar hang at Frankston yesterday. Uh, if you get to see the highlights of the frankston Williams sound game, just didn't come off, unfortunately. We saw one from Tom Stewart as well last night, which went through the hands, which would have been a contender for Mark of the Year. Lelisaris. Short. He'll get it back with the one-two. Goes down the line, looking for Jorgensen. Oh, well he got done. to the front of the pack. He'll pick up his own work, gets the hand pass away. There to Mackey. He tried to bend it around, but that was smothered. Now north away through the middle here. Great hand pass over the top. Drury turns with the left. Looking for Maley, but coming over the back there. Couldn't quite. Hand pass. Snap. It's up, but it's going to be short of the target. Tough one to read there in the end. and Just spilling the mark there was Wallace. It'll go out over the line for a boundary throw in. Yeah, so for me... Looking at Tyler Sellers, if he gets an AFL defender playing on him instead of, say, William Wallace, who, who has played a, a reasonable game, will he be able to... Greenwood out the rock, but he couldn't quite get the kick away. He'll be ping for holding the ball. Sorry, Dan. Yeah, will he, will he be able to play against AFL defenders who can perhaps defend him a little better than, than all the Bull Ants have today? That one went over the back. Chasing there is McCormick. He picks it up. He's got Cobden hot on his tail. Couldn't quite get that one away. Swooping in there was Hardeman, but he was wrapped up in a tackle by Jorgensen and Mackey. Got in there for some as well. Mackey! 
So goad in the ruck. Won that tap easily, but feel I roved it really well. And that kick to the middle was a real wobbler. It's going to be turned over. And Bergman, he's been accumulating a stack of possessions as well as Bergman. That's number 26 for him now. Just sells candy there, Bergman. Then goes into the middle. Puts that kick on a platter. He's just been held up there as Watkins. So you have to go back. He'll steady here, looking for options. Sticks that one up. Big fly at the back. Oh, the man at the front of the pack. Brilliant grab. That was brilliant work there by Sellers. And he's going to get another look at it. This could be for number six. So if we talk about the uh, the votes today, Todd, we've mentioned obviously Patrick Fairley, but you'd have this man in there and maybe Miller Bergman. I just like the fact that he's had the 26 disposals, but his ball use has been top class today. So they're probably my top three in the game so far. It's a beautiful kick, Sellers. This is for number six. And he does it. It was a little bit of a helicopter, but it doesn't matter how it goes in as long as it goes in. And that's his six for the afternoon. What a brilliant game he's had. Yeah. 12 disposals, five goals. He's just been clean, hasn't he, and efficient. Been a real handful. We know that William Wallace, as we said, he's got a brave heart. And he's had a real crack today as Wallace, but and had it had his own moments too. But Salas has got six of the eleven goals for the Kangaroos today. He's had some brilliant service as Sellers as well, and it's really come from that North Melbourne pressure to force the turnover and then move the ball quickly. It's been coming in thick and fast for him. He's had great opportunity. Johnson got it down. Velasaris with the ball going forward. It's going to be a free kick here for a hold. It's going to go in favour of North, and it's going to be Dawson in the 79. Normally, where's the 18? But he was involved in a little bit of a wrestle early. Had to get the new jumper on. Now, that's a win for Will Dawson. First to react from that clearance. It's been a, a really nice battle, that one. Dawson versus John Jorgensen. And I reckon Dawson just getting the upper hand late in the game. I think early Jorgensen got a hold of him, but he just got a bit more comfortable as it went on. Free versus Johnson in the ruck. Johnson won the tap. Bullens get it going forward again. At the back, there was Nguyen. He'll go out wide. They'll have the spare man back and go out wide here. Here's Hanson. This is a good race, this one. Good hand pass in board to Wahl. Now to Jacobs. Gets it on the second bite, then goes into the corridor. Alan Saris oh. was ran down. Great tackle in the end. Thought he had a bit of time. But oh, wow. Good tackle by the big man in free. Jeez. He was clean below his feet then and got smashed, and unfortunately, uh, the umpire seen it against him. And free. Tried to get that quick kick across. McCormick. Fought hard there for the Bull Ants. He tried to get it. Ball spills out of the pack. And he's gone pinged there for holding the ball. So great tackle from Jorgensen. He's going to have a shot at goal here. He's rewarded for his effort. So Jorgensen already has two this afternoon. This will be... An attempt at number three. Real wobbler off the boot. Cobden was there in the goal square. There was a topo going forward, but will fall into the pack. And we'll get a ball up. Deep inside the bull end's goal square here. Jorgensen's going to contest the right contest. Came to the foot of the pack. Cobden tried to rush it. But it ends up being rushed in the end. Yeah, I like their effort. I like their persistence, the Northern Ball Ants. Okay, we probably thought the result was going to be around this margin, but 
at times last year in particular they would have blowout games where they'd turn a 30 or 40 point deficit at three quarter time and it'll blow out to 90 or 100 but they've stayed in the game great mark there from Hanson and he takes off gets it on the left puts it into the pocket great defense here from the Bullets got it to Wallace one two now back they're working through the middle Hamilton got it into Mantis who got the kick that was a hurried kick in the end and Hardiman will take the mark Hardiman works around on the left That'll be too easy, that entry. Mark was paid in the end. And Lawson will have a shot at it now. He had a little bit of a piece of it and then dropped it, but Mark paid. So for North fans, your debutants or draftees, Will Dawson playing as a key back. Only the three disposals, but number of defensive efforts young man Riley Hardiman up to 11 disposals Lawson's kick ends up being short marked at the front there by Fairlight and the young man Taylor go the 207 meter uh, 207 centimeter ruckman from South Adelaide has had the six disposals so solid debut games from all three on centre wing now. That was a great mark there by Dawson. He brings it across here to Taylor. He's got Hanson out here. He's got a paddock of room. Hanson will get it and go. Loops a little hand pass over the top. This is good footy there from North. And then they feed Sellers. He just drops that mark. Gets the hand pass in. Lawson got it to Watkins, who went for the pass to Drury. Drury caught at the back of the pack. Mackey, tackled by Greenwood, who's trying to get the footy out. He'll dive on it, and we'll get a ball up. Looks like some of the kicks going into the forward line, some of the north forwards are having problem with the sun. It is a later game here today. It's nearly half past five here in Melbourne, and that sun just getting in their eyes a little. Great work coming out here. Hamilton found his target. Donegan. Donegan hasn't got much in front of him here. Plenty behind him, all laterally. Instead, he goes to Wile. He's had a nice game, has Josh Hamilton. He'd be pleased playing against his old club to put in the performance he has today. Sellers read that one well. He's going to load up for seven. Can he bring it back? Oh. oh. Just skims the post. Yeah, that's a blooper there for the big fella, Luke Green, who is a little green. Just needed to kick that to the favoured side of his teammate. King will play on to get a little bit extra distance and then lowers his eyes and ends up pinpointing a target there. Elliot got it on the boot. Looking for Jorgensen. Dawson did really well at the front of the pack. Now they'll bring it in here to Shields. Now look to switch play here. Trying to get a piece of it. Worked out really well there for Brown. He got the hand pass over to McCormick, but he was caught up. And we're going to get a ball up inside 50. Yeah, Will Elliott, probably stiff that wasn't paid a mark before, but it goes to show he's still going to work on his body, and in a year or two he'll be clunking those. Ruck tap one. Now Hawley with the entry. And a great mark in the end by Crosby. Crosby will line up here. Shaping up to bend this one around. No, he's going now back for a drop punt. He thought about the kick around the corner. No, he's going to go back around the corner. So he was in three minds there. Oy. And I can see why. And he ends up going out on the full. Just didn't quite... Get enough English on that one to bring it right around. No, he lo never looked quite confident at any stage, did he? So North to bring it back in here through Coven. Fly at the back there. Fell for Code. Beautiful play. Now they're 
Work it out of his hands. And now they'll come in. Watkins well loops it over the top. Sellers has got a panic here, but can he keep it in? Does. He'll look to pass this one. Puts it into the corridor for Taylor. He just had to steady, but Crosby's breathing down his neck. Couldn't get it away in the end. Here's Wahl. He couldn't quite get a full possession. He'll get it back. Wahl, now Crosby. He's caught in the tackle by Bergman. Great work here from North to keep the pressure up. George put it in, but it'll be turned over. Now Fairlight just lays that hands off. I'll go down the line and Cobden will be there. He'll take a mark easy. Yeah, just that dump kick by Josh Hamilton. Charlie Combin has been able to pick that off on a number of occasions today. Just need to show a little bit more composure when coming out of defence, the Bullants. Dawson with the entry. Looking for Sellers. He had to take on two. Well done. Picked up nicely there. Hanson gets around one. He just had to finish the job, but he'll go out wide. And that was missed. There was unselfish effort there from... Hanson, but he could have dribbled that one through and went to pass it and down he couldn't finish. Yeah, he's had, uh, what, the four behinds today is Robert Hanson and nearly another opportunity. His eyes was probably lit up there for a little while, but unfortunately just hasn't got the return on the scoreboard that he'd liked. Mackey goes short to Fairlie, who's had 41 in this game. He'll go short to Franks. Back to Fairlie. Franks. Now Fairlie again. Just keeps accumulating them easy. Is Fairlie. He's up to 43 now. You'll get it again here. <laughs> wow. 44. It's like a magnet, isn't it? <laughs> Al Hawley now. He goes looking for Jorgensen who flies. Dawson did really well to get the fist and then follow up with the second effort. Ball managed to stay in there. Dawson's really been impressive late in the game. He has. Yeah, I think in the first quarter and a bit, it was like, wow, this level is probably... Something he hasn't experienced before, but he's just slowly worked himself into the game, hasn't he? I, just looking at Biggie New on there, I think he had the perfect opportunity to come off his man and influence the contest there, but he just looked a little bit hesitant. That's where he's got to influence the contest. Well, and Sarah's got the clearance to end up being a behind, put it into the goal square, but you know, it wasn't a mark in the contest. So I say to myself, if, if Biggie New on's going to play in the AFL team, what role is he going to play? And it's probably most likely a defender. And what's going to be his strength as a member of that defence? I think it's the ability to come off his man and, and take intercept marks. And he's just got to, in my view, get a little bit better at it than he has today. Smith's kick was smothered. Brilliant. 1% effort from Al Hawley. Free, got front position. I think of the tap down. There's a whistle here. It's gonna play's gonna be brought back. It's gonna be Bullant's ball. Belisaris will have it. That's 70 on from home. Jorgerson flies, but comes to the front of the pack. North away here. Greenwood, oh, tried something there. The little grubber kick, it didn't pay off. Mantis put it in, found his target in now Hawley. He's looking for options here. Now he's going to shape up, I think. He's going to have a go at this. This will be a tough kick if he can. He's 
When he ends up kicking it, it'll be just outside the field of play. So instead, he looks for Fairlie, but that was cut off there by Shields. Oh, well done. Now, all he had to go back and chase his own work. Now, he'll come all the way back here for Mantis. He bring it inboard. Melanceris got it. He went out to Green, and he goes out wide to Mantis. Now back to Velasaris. He just comes in with it. North away here. Great work. Hansen looped it over the top. Now they've got a bit of run here through Goad. He just sticks it out for Sellers and says, chase that one. But getting there first is King. King looking for Wallace and finds him. And we mentioned Hamish Free moving. Well, I think Taylor Goad has got real potential here too. I know it's his first game. Uh, he's like a baby giraffe. Uh, at the moment, hasn't got the body yet, but he can run, and he just showed then he's got some agility about him. So let him work himself into his body a little and play some more games at the level. I think you've got a player here in Taylor Goad. Yeah, I, I have to agree with you. And some of those big, taller players, they just take a little while to work into their body. In the sample, he was playing at full forward, and he's had all the ruck duties today. As they've kind of had Sellers as the deepest forward today. Crosby got it over to Al Hawley. He's just caught up, couldn't get rid of it. They'll come crashing in and they'll get held up there. Umpire finally blows the whistle and we'll get a ball up. So 25 and a half minutes played here in the fourth term. And you were right there, Dan. You said you don't think the Bull Ants are going to get run over. They've actually ran out this game pretty well. And I have it been. hasn't been a blowout. Yeah, I just know that's the one thing they've been really focused on. And, they, and that's the one thing they can control is their fitness. As I said, David Butterfin helping them out there. Uh, even before the game, rocking up here an hour and a half before the game and watching a number of Bull Ants players who aren't playing in this game doing the extra work. So the tap one there by North, but still in contention. Fairlie got another one to his name. Al Hawley's in there as well, but he couldn't quite get rid of it either. So just a reminder for North fans that Cooper Harvey off the ground for some time, suffering what appeared to be a lower leg injury in the first quarter. And Jackson Archer coming off the ground at three-quarter time. Now, I'll be interested to see the reasoning behind that. Is it potentially uh, to assist the AFL side next week or is it uh, a managed workload? I'm just not sure. One of these games here where they've got a bit of scoreboard pressure at that at that moment. They've got a little bit of a luxury to be able to do that and try things and change things and load manage players. It's free work to the front of the pack against Johnson. Johnson went in and under and got it. Velasaris went forward with the kick, but it was marked. No, play on, said the umpire. Bergman was tackled with the footy. We'll get a ball up on the outer side. So 112 disposals between them for fairly Velasaris and Al Hawley. Huge. That's a big number. Goad got it in the air, then bring it down into his body, but we'll get another ball up on the outer side. Speaking with some people at South Adelaide, they're really impressed with Taylor Goad's attitude and his humility. Shields to Greenwood, bursting through. Greenwood just sidestepping there. Got the relieving hand pass. Drury now. He was caught in the tackle. Great tackle from behind for Green. He's looking for the call. Wow, plucked it out. But Green's holding on to Wow, And we'll get a ball up on the edge of 50 here. Brian Johnson battle away. Down to Shields. But that's it. A great hit out here in round one for both of these teams. North Melbourne get the chocolates. 11-15-81. The Bull Ants 6-6-42. A great showing in the end for the Bull Ants to hold on, but North were just too classy. I, yeah, I think you've